What's up YouTube? It's Bad Craftsman. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm gonna to take you to another different type of video. It's gonna be something that uh, I personally haven't brought on the channel, but that I know is a, of a main concern like when it comes to bodybuilding and fitness, people trying to know what to eat. So I figured out, you know, I'm about to cook my lunch now. So I was like, I can actually take you along with me and then so i can show you what exactly i can cook you know when it comes to having lunch so you know like so that you can actually know what it looks like to have like a normal bodybuilding meal you know with all the things when you i, I i'm sure most of you guys here talking about protein carbs and fat and all, all these things and you might not be able to actually identify the good sources of all of these nutrients that you need in your diet so what i'm about to today is like actually bringing you to these meals that i'm going to cook hopefully you guys can actually reproduce this at home on your own and it's going to be pretty basic here eh? i'm not a cook i'm not a chef so you know it's going to be something that i do quite often hopefully this is going to be very helpful for you guys if you feel like you need some more of this type of content drop a comment down below so i'm going to make sure that i bring you like a a full day of eating for example strike so like you can actually understand how structure my daily meals what type of you know in uh, which intervals i often eat you know what quantity and all these things and i can actually schedule them like go deep into details you know what i'm saying so now let's go and try cooking if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up to the video and you feel like this can be really helpful for any of your friends don't hesitate make sure you actually share it to him right now so let's go and try cooking i'll do most of the talking while cooking and uh, stay tuned stick to the end of the video so that you can actually see the final product let's go This lunch here, sickle meal. We have sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes with some see, pretty basic, pretty basic. Yeah just moving the skin of the sweet potatoes and then they are just going to be boiled I think the same for the salmon there. guys I think there's no if you guys feel like you're comfortable as actually just eating the skin too you can do that you know, it comes a lot with it comes with a lot of fibers so it's not bad just make sure you wash it totally before you do that before you boil it the skin has nothing bad in it but as you see we're moving them it's just like personal pre preference Right here you see you have the water on the fire already boiling. Water is ready. I'm just going to be washed and then add it to the water. I don't know if you guys really have anything any issue with the taste of the sweet potatoes but you can add a little bit of salt in it or a little bit of oil you know I would say just go for something like olive oil or you know I mean good sources of fat. You understand? If you really want to add something out 
but for me I just put it in the water without salt or anything and then it's gonna let it boil for a couple of minutes and then it will be ready. Same treatment for the fish, washed, brought into the bar, yeah, that's it. It's going to be the second meal of today, for today. Normally the macros that we are trying to reach here are going to be like 150 to 160 grams of carbs and uh, down 220 to 250 grams of fish. You know. yeah. Once you add a little bit of paper in it so that you can have like a little bit of taste. Also in there, if you can, you can add either at the end or you know that's paprika, yes, a little paprika. At the end, you can even try to eat it with olive oil if you feel like the taste is not as good as you want. But normally these fishes are a lot oily, so the skin is not that dry, you know? especially when you cook it with the skin like that. Uh, the meat is pretty much good. So what's going on now is just mostly doing the seasoning trying to bring out a little bit of different flavors so that the meat doesn't get that boring and uh, you know most of the time also we use this small sauce that's cooked in it to actually eat the sweet potatoes I mean or the rice or something else so that you can bring up the taste like you know that so we're just going to let it boil and get good now for some minutes come back at it later okay guys you see right here normally we needed like three to five minutes to get the sweet potatoes done I mean they they, they, are, they are rather fast to get cooked you know compared to the normal potatoes yeah uh -huh. So it was pretty 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 fast and then you know that's actually what's good with the potatoes you know it doesn't take that much time if you really feel like cooking is difficult you can easily get to do this and you don't need special skills eh? all these things that we're about to do now are just extra you know so that we cannot get bored from the from the meals we're about to bake them for a little while just to make them a little bit crunchy yeah, because you know as they get boiled too they get to soak a lot of water so you eating them and then maybe keeping them for later they might not be that good for your, your mouth again so putting them in the oven might just bring some extra flour, extra taste out of it and you know make it a little bit more nice to eat I'm about to put them there like for like what 10 minutes 15 minutes seven to ten minutes in the oven you know, high temperature yes yeah. high temperature yeah after they'll be ready the fish too is following you know just slowly getting slowly getting done right there okay. and guys this is the little secret here if you want to bring some extra taste with the with the fish you have to bring in some pepper i mean th some of you might not be eating pepper huh? but for me it's something you have to you need to have in the food and uh, there are a lot of benefits health benefits linked to actually eating pepper and if you struggle with appetite or something like that you definitely need more seasoning in your food that will help you having more appetite and getting along with your with your meals especially when you start having like five to six seven meals in a day you definitely need something extra something different to make you you know get past the routine that comes with eating you know? 
So now we're still about to wait them to get cooked. Yeah. We'll just sit down and get it done. The fish as well doesn't take that much, so yeah. That's a good thing with it too. So, like maximum solid 20 minutes if you are cooking at very low fire. Solid 20 minutes that will be more than enough for it. Don't go and overcook it. That will, you will not enjoy it at all. So we're just going to wait it to get cooked. 15, 10 to 15. 10 to 15 minutes, yeah. Alright. So I mean as we have the final result here as you can see it's going to be like very basic meal huh this is the second meal of the day and it's going to be the same as for the third one and the fourth one normally i have like five in the day you know besides i have the breakfast and i have three meals like this or two like this and then a snack you know and then at night before i go to bed you know i will show you a video when i show you what i get most of the time before i get to bed but over here we have like 150 grams of the sweet potatoes and then more than a little bit more than 300 grams of fish but i'll say it's okay because the fish is not boneless you know so we still have a little bit of bone inside so it's okay so i'm gonna have it now and then two and a half to three hours later i'll have the third one okay guys if you know you have any question drop it down below and then i'll make sure that i answer and also you can see the little stew aside is just the stew that we use while cooking the fish so this if i feel like the potatoes are a bit hard to go down you know i can always put them pour them on top of the potatoes so that you know it helps me eating faster probably gonna have like tea with this yes and then that's the wrap guys that's the wrap and then you know drop a comment down below hit the smash that subscribe button you know and then turn the not notification bell on so that you don't miss any other video we're gonna bring more of this content you know soon on the channel tell me really what you think about it share this with any of your friends and then so just wish me to enjoy my meal guys see you bye see you the next time bye bye